Hey everyone, my name is Alex Rojas and I'm a senior at Portland State University. I'm going to talk to you about my personal food journey. Now, as you can see in this picture of me as a baby, we have a joke around the family. And when we see this picture, we laugh. We say that I crawled over to the box, I opened it up, and I dove inside, digging and digging, searching for mangoes. However, I got stuck. <laughs> Why was I searching for mangoes? Well, you see, mango is my favorite vegetable. That's right, vegetable. However, it is considered a fruit. And that's because fruits have seeds. And a mango has a seed on the inside of its core. Today I'm going to talk about mango, corn, and strawberries. While I love mango and they're my favorite, I don't have any connection with my heritage. Now, my dad was born in Mexico, and my mom was born in Colorado. So, I did some digging, and I found corn and strawberries to be related to them. So, we'll talk about them. Let's go into some fun facts. Mango actually originated in India. They are related to pistachios and cashews. Spanish explorers first brought them to South America and Mexico in the 1600s. However, they were first introduced into the United States in 1833 in Florida. Strawberries originated in North America. They're the only fruit with their seeds on the outside. Each strawberry holds roughly 200 seeds. And strawberries are grown in every single state of the United States of America. Corn originated in Central America and Mexico. Each cob has an average of 800 kernels, made up of 16 rows around the entire cob. The United States grows 45% of the world's corn. Corn stalks average 8 to 10 feet tall, but the world record is 33 feet tall. Crazy! Now I'm going to tell you a little story about when I was down in Mexico. See, I was born here in Oregon, but a couple months after I turned one years old, my parents wanted to take me down to meet my family and meet my grandparents. While I met my grandparents, my grandma introduced me to Mango. Yeah, I have a funny story. See, I was in that high chair, and my grandma would peel Mango for me. And as soon as it was done peeled, she would hand it over to me, I would take it, and I would gnaw it down all the way down to the seed. But if I got down to the seed before my grandma was done peeling another mango, I would cry and cry and cry until she would give me a new one. So we still laugh until this day and say that I have mango flowing through my veins because of how much I ate with my grandma. Now, because of my Mexican heritage, I wanted to talk about something with corn. So, here's a recipe. Now, this is actually a pretty regular Mexican culture dish, but we just like to call it Dad's Corn on the Cob. It's very easy. Take corn on the cob, you layer it with mayonnaise, and then you cover that mayonnaise with Parmesan cheese. Then, you add some cayenne pepper. You can add some lime or anything else that you like, but this is how my dad made it, and we love it. Now, strawberries. I love strawberries. I've always loved strawberries since I was a little kid. However, what makes them special is my mom makes a strawberry shortcake for me for my birthday every single year, all ever since I can remember. And all she does is she makes angel food cake, she layers it with strawberry puree, she adds another layer of angel food cake, covers that with strawberry puree, adds a layer of whipped cream, then she dices up fresh strawberries and covers the top with them. It is amazing and very special. Now, while I come from different cultures, I embrace all the foods and all the goodness, even foods from different cultures, like mango. I hope you do the same. Thank you for watching my presentation. I hope you liked it.